Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a promised I regret purchasing video and this is rather full. I did a little decluttering and I came to the conclusion that I have a lot of products that don't work out for me, so why do I keep holding on to them? Maybe I was thinking that oh, maybe in the future this will work. No, it won't, okay? It will not work. Like, it hasn't worked until now. Why would it work in a month? It doesn't. Some products are not used, some products are used, and I just didn't like it. So, let's just get started. I have. Now, don't be mad at me. I have one, two, three, four. There should be one more. You better throw that away. Six deodorants. Six deodorants. Okay, so. Remember when I did my Lush haul and I was like, oh my god, yes, I got, I got the powder deodorant and it's so great. They don't work on me. Unfortunately, I sweat more, I stink a lot. They don't really do it. So this is the Greenge. This is the Governor powder deodorant. This one I never use. I just opened up this mullet, which it still smells of divine. This is, you can't even read it. I don't know. But yeah, I just opened this up here. The rest is still closed. Then I have another one. I think I threw that away, like, also like a solid deodorant. I have this one by Alvede. This one was okay, but it didn't keep me dry at all, and it was very sticky, and I didn't like it at all. All of these are cruelty-free uh, and vegan, yes, so no animal testing, no aluminum, nothing, but it, it just didn't work. So this I will throw away. The other, I mean, these I might give to someone, you know, I, I don't know, if someone wants them. And then this one was okay too. Didn't really keep me dry, and was also very sticky. And I, I don't like sticky deodorant. I just want to put it on, and then go leave the house. I don't want sticky pits. Oh, it's horrible. So this didn't work for me either, and the smell wasn't that nice. So yeah, all of these are going. It's kind of sad if you think about it, because you know I spent money on it, but then again, the money is already spent. Why would I sit here and then cry about it? The money is spent already. Like there's nothing I can do about it. So. Uh, I have one now that's a roll-on and also cruelty-free, vegan, I think, and without aluminum, and that actually works fine. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like those um, sticks, you know, that are just literally too sticky. I just I just can't have it. Just, just the thought of that oh, makes me very, very uncomfortable. And these three... I actually... Remember when I said that I will make a Facebook group where you can give things for free, like beauty products and also household items? I did that. And we have over 100 members already, and that makes me very happy. So I just put it in there, maybe someone wants it, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. This I used once, and then I realized I can't deal with this anymore, I don't know why. Uh, this is Valeria. I make a remover, and if you know me, this used to be my favorite thing of all time. My, my holy grail, make a remover. And ever since I have my um, microfiber towels, I don't use a make a remover anymore. I just use water. So I had this in the back of my cabinet, like, at the bottom, all the way back. And I figured I could use this, you know, why not? Just see if I still like it as much, and I didn't like it. I don't know why. It's a two-face thing that you, of course, have to shake up and then use, and somehow the oil that's in here didn't work well with my eyes, you know. It was just, it was not nice to use. It felt weird, and in the morning, I don't want to say they were stuck together, but it, it didn't, didn't feel good. It was just not nice to use. So I used this once. I put on a, like, a cotton pad, so maybe I will put this into the group as well. All of these. Yeah, three times the same essence pencils. Long lasting eye pencil, 18 hour waterproof. Keep that in mind, waterproof. Uh, in black fever. They're horrible. I mean, to remove, that is. Um, I, like I said, only use water to remove eye makeup, and so far it worked fine. Worked so far it worked fine, but with these, this is always a residue. No matter how much you clean your eyes, even with. Um, Missile water, whatever it is, in the morning you will always have a black line on the eyes. I don't know why. Like, I clean it with my microfiber towel and water. I clean it with a missile of water and I, I actually thought I had everything off, but I just didn't. And I just can't deal with that. I know it's like first world problems that a waterproof pencil is actually waterproof, but I just can't. I used one. Okay, this is unused. This is unused. Okay, I use this one. I might keep this for cosplay and then these two are also going in that like giveaway group that I have. A very old, well not very old, but an old sponge and I don't know why. I'm not your typical makeup girl as you know. I can't deal with these sponges. I don't know what the deal, like I, I never use them. I don't see why they're so hyped to be honest. Like I already use a brush and then tap them with my fingers if I have to. Then use a sponge. 
I just, I, I don't like it. Why am I always falling into that trap of, oh, you need, you need a sponge, you need a beauty blender to apply your makeup? No, you don't. Why am I always buying these things? It's like the third one that I have. And I use it maybe like three, four times. And I'm even too lazy to wet it. So I just don't use it at all, you know what I mean? If I think about the fact that I have to take this out of my makeup drawer, put it onto water, rinse it out, you know, get it all big. I don't know how big this gets, but you know, then apply it. I'm too lazy. I don't need this. Why do I keep buying things? Next time, when I'm thinking about buying a beauty blender, tell me to stop. Tell me you don't need this. Because I don't. I'm getting rid of my old hair tie. Two lip products. This one is by Deuce. I recently got this. This is Luscious Lip Stain in Holiday Getaway. I got this in a Luffin Dance box very recently. And the color is not something I would wear, but I wore it. I, I wore it once. It looks very nice. It's basically, I would wear this with a gold eyeshadow, just mascara on, concealer, and then leave the house, and then this on. No intense eye makeup, just a bold lip. And the color is very nice, but it is so dry. Granted, it's a lip stain. Okay, it's supposed to stain your lips, but it's so goddamn drying. And just if, like maybe an hour later, you had flakiness going on. You know, when you just rub over your lips and you have like pieces of lipstick. That's just not nice. And it was not comfortable at all. And I drank coffee and it just was all over my cup. And I'm not dealing with this. I mean, it is a nice color, but then again, it's way out of my comfort zone. It is uncomfortable to wear. It's flaking off. I'd rather get rid of it than keep my it. So. That is going. Also, this one this is the Jeffree Star Blue Lipstick in Gemini. Blue liquid lipstick, by the way. Yeah, this has just gone off. It just doesn't smell good anymore. Beautiful color, though. Beautiful. Beautiful for fall and winter, uh, or just all year round, if you're like me. I don't really care what season it is. I wear whatever I want. Beautiful, but it has gone off, unfortunately. It's so. almost gone. It's also... It also changed color a little in the tube itself, so... That is a sign that it's not good anymore. It's expired and you should get rid of it. Don't use it. Uh, I only have two more things left. This is kind of sad if you think about it. This is a concealer. Stay all day, six and hour concealer by Essence. Waterproof, long lasting, whatever. Um, color, natural beige. It was probably very cheap. This is not concealing anything. Now granted, you can see it here, right? But as soon as you tap, tap it in or blend it in, It's not covering anything. Now, of course, I have hair on my arms. It's sticking to that. But trust me, if you apply this on your under eye circles, it's not covering up anything. Not at all. It's, it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer, which you would not use a tinted moisturizer as a concealer. You just would not do that. So, it's sad because I, like it says it stays all day, all day, 16 hours, long lasting concealer, which is not concealing anything, to be honest. I mean, look. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. You see that? So that's a kind of sad. Because I like Essence. I really, it's one of my favorite drugstore brands. But it's not concealing anything. Anything at all. So that is going as well. And last but not least, I have this one. I got a little fantastic box. I don't even know when I got that. M months ago, definitely. Uh, this is by Dr. Botanicals, which, by the way, they want to work with me. And they asked me to send me, send them my dress, and I've never got anything. So, anyway, uh, this is the Po Pomegranate Superfood Brightening Eye Serum with a drop down like this. See, I don't really see that this is brightening my eyes or doing anything. To be honest with you, granted, I don't see that with any eye cream. Okay, I can use the best eye cream in the world, and you probably wouldn't see a difference around my eyes. So. That being said, I hate the fact that this is like a liquid, like an oil type of thing. Because no matter how well you pat this in, you will always have oil on your lids. It's kind of not really sinking in to my skin, unless I really apply it in the evening and then go to bed. Then it's sinking in. Still, you have that oily, like, oily film of your skin. You know when, when you cook something and you have oil on your hands and you, you wash it off and you can't because water is literally dripping off the oil, it's not sticking. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. You have that, that oily feel on your eyes. Or oh, on your lower eyes. What? On your lower eyes? What? How many eyes does one have? It's kind of like with the, um, 
the makeup remover that you wake up with just some oiliness around your eyes. That's just not not nice. I have I don't want to have very sensitive eyes, but I don't want anything like, too close to my actual pupils. Because that, that would not be nice. It's just it will be a fuck fest to be honest. Anyway, so that was everything I got rid of this month. It's a nice decluttering session, okay? Like I, I did good. Please, please tell me I did good. Again, you know, the money is already spent, so I will not cry about it, but maybe next time I will not go too lush and then buy five or four deodorants at once, maybe just buy one and then test it out. Ah, learn from my mistakes, okay? Don't don't do impulse buys. Think about it. Sleep about it. And then might. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I've just done my project pen thing. Um, Penapel, that's what it's called. And I still have all the swatches on my hands. Maybe I should have. What do you call it? Oh, sorry. Hello. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my. Oh no, his two friends are coming, my dog's not bothered. Okay, I just wait, I just wait. Good. Bill? Yeah? Okay. No, oh, okay. Me? Oh, oh, he's just yawned. Oh, he's so cute. That's a thumbnail. What is a thumbnail? Uh, okay. I might keep this for cosplay. Okay. I don't even know if I'm actually.